Marie, and from the horse, will be your host for the show this afternoon. And our horse is named for Sam. Now, we have some activities for you today in the show, some things that you might like to try. You might like to have a go at cracking the whip. And then towards the end of the show, you'll have the chance to milk the cow. And of course, a bit later on, I'm going to show you how we shear a sheep. But before I can do that, we have to move some sheep into the shed. When we move sheep, it's called mustering. And to do the mustering, we use special dogs. And the dogs that we use are Australian Kelpies, especially bred for working sheep. So I'm going to bring one out now. This is Rusty. Rusty. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Now, the Australian Kelpies like Rusty have been bred to work sheep for nearly 200 years and now it's bred into the dogs. It's instinctive in them to work sheep. Now, Rusty is our oldest dog. He is just over eight years old. So if he was a person, he'd be about probably 56, 57 years old. So he's a middle-aged dog. All right, so I'm going to take Rusty out now. I'm going to show you how the mustering works. And after I've done that, we'll get him to bring the sheep right back into the shed, into this pen right here. <laughs> now, during the mustering, the stockman, that's me, will control the dog. In turn, the dog will control the sheep. We use three main commands for the dogs. The command round sends the dog to the left side of the sheep. The command back will send him out to the right side. And the command stay will make him stay where he is until he gets another command. Because the sheep will always move away from the dog, we can move the sheep to wherever we want just by controlling our dog. Stay. Stay. Go back. Go back. Come on, back since the dog to the right side. Sheep, you go back. Go back. Go back. <laughs> so you can see we can move the sheep to wherever we want just by controlling our dog. So we'll run the sheep into the shed now. Push him up. Push him up. The hardest thing for a dog to do is just to move one sheep. So you might have another couple out there for him just to help him. Push him up, Rusty. Push him up, Rusty. Push him up, Rusty. Shearing. When I pulled into gear, the motor drives a flexible shaft inside this tube down at the bottom to the tool that shears the sheep. This is the tool and it's called the handpiece. The handpiece has two blades on it, a fixed blade on the bottom called the cone. This cones through the wool. And a small blade on the top that cuts the wool off, that's called the cutter. And the cutter moves, as you can see. It's very fast, very noisy, very sharp. And it's also very dangerous. Now this shearing plant, this is what is used today. This is the modern way of shearing sheep. And being the modern way, it's also the easy way. But it wasn't always that easy. Long time ago, all the sheep in Australia had to be shorn by hand. And this is the tool that was used. These are called shears. It was about 100 years ago that these were used. At that time in Australia, there were about 70 million sheep. They all had to be shorn every year with the shears. Shearers would work for 10 hours a day, and in a day they could shear about 70 or 80 sheep using the shears. Today they can shear twice that many sheep. One shearer can shear 150, 200 sheep in one day. So it's much easier today. 
And something else that makes it easier for the shearer is this piece of equipment. And this was invented by a shearer who had a bad back. He couldn't shear sheep anymore because of his back. How do you think he got the bad back? Of course, being over shearing sheep down this position all day. So what do you think we do with this? Do we put the sheep in here? Make it easy to shear. You're right, it's for the shearer, not the sheep. Shearer gets in, down in the shearing position, you can see the springs working, supporting quite a lot of my weight and taking a lot of strain on my back. Now I'm going to get one of these sheep out now and show you how we shear it. I'm handing over to Irene. She'll explain to you what's going on during the shearing. When the shearer catches the sheep, the first thing he does is turn it upside down very quickly. This is to get the sheep off its legs because then the sheep is completely under control. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> now, in the wool of sheep, there is a natural grease which is called lanolin. You've probably heard of it, a lot of skincare products. Ladies' cosmetics are made from lanolin. It's very good for your skin. And it's also very good for the sheep itself. Immediately after we shear the sheep, it produces a large amount of lanolin that covers its own body in grease. Now, this protects the sheep from the weather, keeps it warm and dry. We can put the sheep outside immediately after shearing any time of the year, even winter time, and they don't suffer at all. <laughs> now, when I rub the body of the sheep, it'll be good hard rub like this on the freshly cut wool. You'll be able to see the lanolin shining on my hands. Aww. It's very greasy, I can certainly feel it. It's very good for your skin. So, after the show, when the sheep is back in the catching pen, you might like to go over there and rub the sheep, just like I did. Rub it a long time, rub it all over your face. Aww. You'll have lovely soft skin. You'll smell terrible. You'll smell really bad, but your skin will be very good. <laughs> now, this model of wool we have for is called a fleece, and there are workers in the shearing shed called rouseabouts. One of them will pick up the fleece of wool and throw it out onto a wool table. So I'm going to demonstrate this for you by throwing the fleece onto the floor so you can see better. You might like to just imagine that we have a wool table just here. Wow. Uh... And as you can see, the technique of shearing gets all the wool off in one piece. It's all joined together just like a big rug. Wow. Now, this is very important because when the rouse about throws out the fleece of wool, all of the short wool from along the legs and all of the dirty greasy wool from underneath the legs, that all goes out to the edges of the fleece. So now we can skirt around the fleece and we can remove that wool. And this process is called skirting the fleece. Mm. So that's the back leg there. So remove all that short, dirty wool from right on the edge there. On the side here where the belly was. Up towards the front leg and then some of the very short wool from around the neck. Now the reason that we do this is to increase the value of the fleece because these pieces we've removed are much less valuable than the main fleece wool. And these pieces are called pieces. Now Australia has some of the best quality and finest wool in the world. This beautiful fleece wool will be made into very high quality clothing. Things such as men's suits, ladies' jackets, evening dresses are all very expensive. This is how much all sheep will produce in one year, about five kilos. That's enough wool to make three complete men's suits. If you had to buy those suits, they would cost you over a thousand dollars. But the value of this fleece is about forty dollars. Forty dollars is what the farmer gets for a piece of wool. Now pick up the fleece and put it into a wool press. This metal box is the wool press. So put about 40 or 50 fleeces in here, press it down tight using this machine, and that's how we make a bale of wool. Now, most of Australia's wool. Oh, that's it. Oh, no. All right, now remember to race to see who can finish the milk first. So who's going to win our race? Who's going to win this afternoon? Now both these hands here, they're about five weeks old. This is the babies. Now, hold it on with two hands, mate, make sure the man can reach. That's it, just hold it steady right there. Okay, I think this one's in front at the moment. Looks if you get a little tail to work. You're almost done doing really well there. Okay, here we go, there's our winner. Give our winner a clap, good job. So get the rest of the milk out there. Sometimes oh, it's done as well. That's more. <laughs> 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 right, there we go, we'll finish. Stay here for a minute, mate. Come back here. Gotta get some sanitizer in, mate. Thanks. Let's give our hand for you the cut that we did Now, we're going to invite you all down to come down and milk the cow. And in just a moment, Irene will be over here with Maddie. She'll help you and show you what to do. Once we've done that, that'll be the end of our show.